Good morning for us from Suburban. Stayed at an Airbnb for the last few days. This is 1515 Shaw, Washington, D.C. Lovely house. I can't remember the name exactly, but uh, I start with this sign because we parked down the road. I didn't see a sign, but you'll still get a ticket. And first thing, we got a ticket for 35 bucks, but there is no parking. You have to park about a half a mile down the road at a garage. $30 a day to park. They do sweep, uh, street sweeping, as you see on that sign, and two-hour parking. So I'm not going to make any suggestions, but we were parked there for three days and got a ticket for $35. The parking garage is $30 a day. So hopefully we only have to pay the one ticket. And then we actually made a bonus. And we didn't drive anywhere. So I am just walking through this place a little bit. It's actually a very nice house, so I'm not gonna take from the house because of this stupid parking. That's just cities for you. Uh, this is the patio area. Kitchen, everything was nicely updated. Like this stove is awesome. I mean, I just know it's a nice expensive stove. We are packed up, ready to go, basically. Refrigerator, has a big ding in it, but it's brand new, obviously. They haven't even taken the packing paper off of it. They have a couple of snacks, whatever. They only had one, they only had a few packs of sugar, so it was a little bit like underwhelming for the coffee, but actually, I don't know, my house, I just oversupply everything, I guess. So I guess that's on demand, a little washer and dryer. They're actually pretty nice. Everything's in great condition. It's a nice house. It's comfortable for four to five people. I would say more than that would probably not be as comfortable but it's a nice small house. It's in a decent location. The only thing I saw it had for location or for a, a not as good of a mark was location. And I will have to say, there's a high chair in a little closet, some pillows. There's stuff inside the, the chase there. Also, they said like comforters. I haven't even looked at it. Here's one little half bathroom down here. Nice, nice place. Things on the wall and stuff just from people not taking care of it. Yeah, that opens up. So there's some stuff inside of that too. But it is very comfortable. Location-wise, we walked about everywhere. So you can walk to the metro. We took the metro to the Russian embassy. That's what we were here for. Which actually was still a mile and a half away from the embassy. So we actually walked quite a bit that day. And even from uh, like the uh, Naval Museum. I don't know. We probably put $13 and traveled all day by metro. But the other two days, we just walked around everywhere. So... You will get your steps in. Eh. Neighborhood. It's not the best looking neighborhood. I mean, you can see across the street there. Yeah. And you kind of go in and out of nice neighborhoods to not so nice neighborhoods. But here's a stacking double or stacking full beds. So this is sleeping right here. Two full beds. Again, nice little room. Not central heat and air. I'm not sure if this is central here or not, but it's like the personal air conditioners. They're in every room, so you can adjust your heat in every room. The main bathroom. Again, it's updated. Nice. It's got a little basic soaps and stuff like I do, which is cool. But we're packed up. We're ready to leave. Um, we took off early this morning because we didn't go and get another ticket. And uh, here's the master bedroom. I didn't even open the closet, but I'm going to check it out. There's something in here, I'm guessing. A little hamper, ironing board. There you go. More towels wrapped up, pillows. There's a bunch of pillows. There's pillows downstairs in the closet. There's also pillows in the other room. TVs are nice, but again, unlike mine, I thought, you know, it's gonna watch Netflix or whatever else, but you're gonna have to sign into your own accounts or something, or find a free movie on Samsung TV Plus because nothing else is open. You have to, you have to bring it. Here's those controllers, so pretty cool. So there's one here, one here, upstairs, backside. Just kind of setting them all for your personal like. Coffee, coffee was good actually. They had those little Nantucket coffees. But little dining area. Salt and pepper is backwards. This one's got salt and the pepper, but oh well, just stupid stuff. 
you will like the location. And this little map was cool. It's the uh, subway stops, basically. Woodley Park or different areas. And that's kind of what you'll see when you go in there. DC. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this one up. It was a nice day. We paid a little over 900 for three days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. But I think we got the rate a little lower. Sometimes it's 200 and something. Uh, town was really nice too. There's a lot of cool stuff to do. Um, so if you're walking this way, you'll get to the metro faster. Up that way somewhere. There's a little liquor store on the side here. There's a little mart one road over and backwards. And there's a giant food store. It's called the Giant Food Store. I've never heard of them before. And it's also about a half a mile away where their suggested parking garage is. So that part you might have to figure out. But have a good day.